Hi, my name is Katie, and I have been going to X Church since Easter. Um, so I grew up in church, um, and after I graduated, I moved away. Um, my parents were divorced, and I wanted to be able to build a relationship with my dad that I didn't have before. A few years later, I got into a relationship um, that was really unhealthy, um, and then I found out I was pregnant with Mabel. So my daughter's dad is a recovering heroin addict. After he got clean, um, things just really never changed. Um, it was mostly like verbal and emotional abuse. And um, I decided after her first birthday that it was time for me to move on and start a new life. Um, so I spent about 10 years living near my dad. Um, and I got 10 really awesome years with him. Um, and then he got really sick. Um, he had heart issues um, and he got an LVAD put in. Um, about 18 months later, we found out that that machine had a blood clot in it. So they put my dad under and tried to dissolve the blood clot. And unfortunately, when they put him under, he had a stroke. And was bleeding out in his brain for a few days and when they tried to wake him up um, he was not able to be woken up. So once I moved home it sounded like it was like a really good deal. I was like moving with my mom, I was gonna be making big life changes, I quit my career so that I didn't have to work a bunch of hours anymore and I could spend time at home with my daughter but as time went on I started realizing that I was feeling really purposeless and um, I just didn't have any long-term goals and like I didn't know what I wanted to do next in life and I was a single mom living in my mom's house. I was invited by my neighbor to X Church. At that point I obviously was still searching. I didn't know what I wanted but because I do have like a background in church, it was easy for me to just say yes. Um, but when I walked in, just like everyone else feels, you feel that there's something different there. And that's when I wanted to search more about that. And um, that's when I started listening to the podcast and I got to episode six. And it was about um, being in a season of discontentment and finding a mission in your ambition. This gap that exists between what I have and what I want, mm -hmm. where I am and where I want to be, mm -hmm. who I am and who I wish I was. Mm -hmm. And instead of um, feeling dread that I'm not there yet and looking at that, uh, looking at the gap between me and that yeah. and saying, thank you, God, that, that, that you love me enough that I that I can be that, yeah, and that I can grow towards there, right, and that there's room for improvement, yeah, and that I'm farther along than I thought I was. But being grateful for that gap, light bulbs just started going off in my head. Like the things that are talking about is exactly the things that I'm thinking. Once I started implementing the things I was learning and building that relationship with Christ, that's when everything was really changing. I found that I have a passion and outreach and I have a purpose in showing my daughter that there is a new way of life, a different way of life, and that's with Jesus. Having a support system and building that community has been so amazing for me. I've met so many people who have been there for me during tough times. I have so many people who are there to um, help me with my daughter and I also have people who are able to support me as I go through um, a really tough like custody battles and I have one person in particular who is going with me to support me and things like that are so important and feel so good to know that you have people in your life that would go above and beyond for you. I've learned that you can't change your past and you can't always change your circumstances. But if you have faith in God, you'll know that He always will have a plan for you.